Did you ever realize that a motor can become a generator in some circumstances? Did you even know that it is happening on the ships? Well, if you are very curious, want to know more about it, then stay tuned till the end of the video. Well, if you want to know more about it, then you are in the right place. If you are curious to answer some tricky questions, stay till the end of the video and you will have a lot of information. This video is about the brakes and the trigger is because of some mails I received from some people who are going for exams who probably wanted to know more about the types of brakes on the ships. And uh, let me be very honest, I learned a lot when I tried to find the answers. Before I move on, let me express my heartfelt uh, gratitude for the support and motivation I have received from all of you people. Those kind words, those small comments, those mails which I received saying that I have passed my orals or cleared my exams thanks to your videos. These are the small things which motivate me and uh, reassure me that the time I am spending on making these videos is worth it. It is not a waste. A uh, big thanks to each and every one of you for making it possible to push me into this coveted and cherished milestone of 15,000 subscribers which I never ever expected that I will be here. Thanks for all your support once again. I also apologize for the long gaps between the videos. Given my busy hectic schedules of conducting hydraulic courses for various companies, I do have a constraint of time. But I also make sure that I don't upload videos just for the sake of uploading one. I want to ensure that at least I put in my 200% and uh, even by mistake I don't upload some wrong information. Let us not waste more time and jump right into the video and go to the content. Thank you so much. Continue watching. Enjoy every bit of it. Have you ever thought about the different types of brakes we use on the ships and the concepts? Well, if you didn't remember, the surveyor is probably thinking when you go for orals. When we utter the word brake, immediately our mind imagines a moving object coming to a stop. Perfect. On ships, we see that uh, anchor which is falling down is stopped when the bosun applies the brake. But there is much more to it than what meets the eye. Does a brake always bring a moving object to stop? No. It can also be responsible to control the speed of a falling object. For example, the centrifugal brake in a lifeboat. It restricts the speed of the boat in its descent. of brakes and I am sure you might be surprised as well. Let's move on. When we say brake, it definitely refers to a device which brings to rest a moving object or control the speed as we had said earlier. Well, it goes without saying that these brakes are applied to a moving object or moving drum. Prime examples are windless brakes and lifeboat hand brakes. Here it is necessary to remember that though they are designed for application when the drum is moving, it is definitely not desirable to control the speed of the drum with partial application of this brake. They expect that to be applied to a moving drum in full and bring it to a complete stop. It is obvious that partial application of these brakes like windless lifeboats result in wear out of the brake lining. Now let's move on and understand the concept of brakes. What happens when we apply a brake? Which is used to reduce and stop the speed of a object or to control the speed of an object. Well, we all know that a moving body has kinetic energy. So when we apply brakes, the moving body comes to a complete stop. That means that the moving body has lost its kinetic energy. And we also know that energy cannot be generated or destroyed. Where did this kinetic energy go? Surprised? Well, it is simply got transferred. Now it is appropriate time for us to actually start looking at the various types of brakes and understand it. Let us start with the type we know very well. Yes, the band brake as used in the windlass. Where did the kinetic energy go? Well, it got dissipated as heat. So all these types of brakes where the kinetic energy is getting transferred or dissipated as heat are called dissipative brakes. 
it does not matter if we reduce the speed or control the speed or bring the bring the object to a complete halt the energy simply got dissipated as heat the various types possible with their application on the ships are as follows speed reduction or speed control brakes using friction and dissipation to heat energy now the centrifugal brake in a lifeboat obvious used in lifeboat winches idea being that the boat will descend at a controlled speed with people who embarked at the embarkation deck a band brake for example windlass band brake a disc brake so used in lifeboats for launching some people call it hand brake or a dead man's lever brake etc etc a disc brake used in certain windlasses to to be used while letting go the anchor it makes sure that the anchor does not pick up speed while let go there is another type of brake which needs to be looked at separately it is called a holding brake now this is applied on the object when the object is not moving remember the drum should not be moving now if we talk about a drum then the brake has to be applied after the drum has completely come to a stop excellent example is the mooring winch brake band if if you think about the mooring brake you will notice that the stopping part is done somewhere else while the band brake only holds position as a practical engineer we need to appreciate that these brakes were not designed to be applied on a moving drum and if you do we might land up damaging the lining so what are the examples of holding brakes on ships the mooring winch brake the cranes engine room hoist in all above whether they are stopping brakes or holding brakes we can see that friction plays the main part that is there is a physical contact between the lining and the moving drum can we have braking without physical contact without brake lining and friction material yes let's see a few of this let us call these as non friction brakes now what type of brake is hydraulic brake nobody uses these terms most of the people might not have even realized whenever we lower an anchor or a crane in a hydraulic operated equipment we are actually using the hydraulic brake to reduce or keep the descending speed under control to prevent the gravitational forces from taking over most might have heard the term counterbalance valve well these are like the frictional brakes which dissipate the kinetic energy into heat energy the same counterbalance valve is also very much contributing as a holding brake so this hydraulic brake a form of the conventional non friction brake can control the speed of a descent and stop so remember whenever we lower an anchor or lower a load or a on a simple hydraulic crane we actually tend to heat up the oil there is no escaping now let us move on to the other type which is non friction and but dissipative we call it as a electric brakes these type of brakes are also called dynamic brakes or at least the industry or traditional definition calls so here uh, electrical circuits are designed to create braking magnetic forces induced by electric currents causing a reduction in speed and eventual stopping but we still cannot escape the dissipation of kinetic energy so how does it work the electric motor in this case starts to act like a electric generator and the current produced goes through the resistive circuits where the energy is dissipated as heat in either externally connected reverse power absorbing resistors or within the motor coils a uh, few cranes in earlier days were using this technique uh, on ships especially cranes using dc motors we are constrained not to elaborate more on this since this topic will become very lengthy this topic may need a separate video with uh, people with more electrical insights let us now move on to the next type in all above we saw that dissipation of kinetic energy of a moving body into heat or the basic underlying concept but that is criminal now that we are into a era of decarbonization energy conservation how can we even think of blowing up energy into waste heat it is here that the more modern dynamic brakes come into the picture these dynamic brakes reuse the energy these dynamic brakes reuse the energy and not dissipate it into heat these dynamic brakes are also called regenerative brakes here the concept remains the same the motor becomes a generator while lowering of an object just imagine the potential energy is getting converted to kinetic energy but instead of passing the generated current through a dissipative resistors the current is fed back to the main bus this of course results in reduced fuel oil consumption on generators 
This is generally done in cranes with simple induction motors with electronic control of hydraulic equipments. Here you can see the rotating magnetic fields of the stator and rotor of induction motors while lifting and lowering. While lifting a load, the rotor is trying to catch up with the supplied rotating magnetic field and you can see the lag. The polarities are opposite. While uh, lowering, you can see that the load is trying to rotate the rotor and hence the lead. The currents induced in the rotor create a magnetic field with similar polarities which create the braking force. The motor now acts like a generator and supplies current back to the bus with suitable trips, safeties, etc. incorporated. Understanding these electrical concepts can be quite challenging of course. Though I have tried my best to assimilate from various sources and manuals, electrical not being my core, there may be errors. Please do cross check from other reliable sources. Please do comment if there are any errors and I sincerely apologize for the same. I also welcome those who can elaborate on this topic better for the benefit of the viewers. You can insert your observations in the comments section. Electric cranes with uh, VFD motors also can be regenerative. Braking effect is there, but it has not got converted to heat. Again, we cannot afford to elaborate on this topic as this also needs a dedicated video to illustrate the concepts involved. So to cap up the topics, remember when anchor is hanging and is on gear, the holding brake is hydraulic. When a load is hanging from a crane, the holding brake is hydraulic, right? The counterbalance valve, but supported by a friction brake, which can be a disc brake, a band brake. When a mooring winch is holding a tight rope, the holding brake is hydraulic. If the clutch is connected or it is the frictional band brake, if the drum is disengaged, basis, the concepts and functionings of various brakes. Here we can see some of the various brakes used in different equipments on ships in a tabulated form. If you browse the internet, you may even come across conflicting terms and definitions from what you saw in this video. It's all a question of interpretation and definition. But I suggest let's not get trapped into the world of definitions and terminologies and concentrate on the core fundamentals and concepts for us to appreciate the mystery and the working principles behind all these equipments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much. Thank you for a patient listening.